You are about to hear a discussion of a first in the history of exploration. The most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is an interstellar space. Imagine hurtling through space, crossing the immense void to reach the colossal gas giants of our solar system. This was the mission of Voyager 1, a trailblazer that forever altered our understanding of Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons. In its silent journey beyond the familiar, Voyager 1 whispered secrets from the cosmic frontier, unveiling a startling discovery that has had the brightest minds of our time rethinking the very fabric of our solar system. Launched in 1977, this intrepid spacecraft embarked on a journey beyond the confines of our terrestrial understanding, destined to reveal the mysteries harbored by these distant planets. We have ignition and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft. What it found was not just a scientific revelation, it was a cosmic spectacle a testament to the intricate beauty and complexity of our solar system. Voyager 1's encounter with Jupiter in 1979 was nothing short of historic. This gas giant, known for its massive size and turbulent atmosphere, was observed in unprecedented detail. The spacecraft's findings significantly enriched our knowledge of Jupiter's atmosphere, its iconic great red spot, a gigantic storm larger than Earth itself, was studied closely revealing intricate details about its composition and dynamics. Voyager 1's images showcased complex cloud patterns and atmospheric phenomena, including lightning, a phenomenon previously thought exclusive to Earth. The moons of Jupiter also yielded astonishing discoveries. Perhaps the most groundbreaking was the revelation of Io's volcanic activity. Prior to Voyager 1, no one knew that Io was the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Voyager 1 encountered with Jupiter a volcanic plume and, in fact, a volcanic eruption. This finding challenged existing theories about the celestial body heating and mechanics, demonstrating that tidal forces from Jupiter and its other moons could generate significant internal heat, enough to power volcanic activity. Voyager 1's journey to Saturn in 1980 revealed the splendor of the planet's rings and moons in spectacular detail. When Voyager sails just 77,000 miles from Saturn's yellow clouds. Saturn's rings, long admired through telescopes, were seen up close for the first time. The spacecraft's observations showed that these rings were composed of countless small particles, ranging in size from dust grains to mountain-sized chunks, each orbiting Saturn independently. This provided immense insight into ring dynamics and composition, altering our understanding of these celestial features. The moons of Saturn, too, were a source of surprise. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, was of particular interest due to its thick atmosphere, which is unique among solar system moons. Voyager 1's measurements of Titan's atmosphere showed it to be primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane, mirroring early Earth's atmosphere. This sparked interest in Titan as a potential site for studying prebiotic chemistry. Voyager 1's findings of Jupiter and Saturn were not just planetary highlights. They were milestones in our quest to understand the universe. These discoveries significantly advanced our knowledge of planetary science, atmospheres, and celestial mechanics. The mission provided empirical data that challenged existing theories and sparked new ones, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Moreover, Voyager 1's journey brought a sense of cosmic perspective. It showcased the diversity and complexity of celestial bodies within our own backyard, enriching our understanding of the universe's myriad phenomena. Voyager 1's findings have significantly contributed to astrobiology, particularly in understanding the potential for life in extreme conditions and the processes that shape habitable conditions. Additionally, this knowledge is crucial for planetary protection protocols, ensuring that future missions do not inadvertently contaminate other worlds. However, it's the most recent discovery made by Voyager 1 that has scientists rethinking everything they thought they knew about our solar system. 
Voyager 1's journey through the solar system has led to groundbreaking observations about the heliosphere and the heliopause, fundamentally altering our understanding of these regions. Before Voyager 1, scientists had only theoretical models to explain the heliosphere, the vast bubble-like region of space dominated by the solar winds, and the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind's influence ends and interstellar space begins. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to cross the heliopause, providing direct measurements and empirical data that challenged and redefined previous assumptions. Prior to this, the heliopause was thought to be a smooth spherical boundary, but their new observations indicated a more irregular and dynamic shape influenced by the external pressure of the interstellar environment. Voyager 1's observations revealed unexpected complexities in how solar and interstellar winds interact, shedding light on the structure and dynamics of our solar system's outer boundaries. This data has helped scientists understand the nature of the interstellar medium, including its magnetic field, particle composition and density, which are crucial for astrophysical studies and models. Understanding the heliosphere's boundaries has also been crucial for better predicting space weather events which can affect satellites, space travel and even technology on Earth. With a deeper understanding of these outer regions, scientists can improve models used to forecast solar storms and their potential impacts. This milestone discovery not only represents a leap in our understanding of the solar system, but also serves as a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity in exploring the unknown. Voyager 1's data continues to inform and inspire the scientific community, offering insights into cosmic phenomena that were once mere speculations. Voyager 1, nearing the end of its interstellar mission, faces challenges in transmitting data to Earth. The spacecraft, currently over 23.3 billion kilometers away, requires about 25 hours to send information to Earth, resulting in a two-day round-trip communication time. NASA has announced the Voyager program's impending conclusion as the spacecraft approaches the end of its operational life. Powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, using heat from decaying plutonium spheres, the spacecraft's power diminishes by approximately 4 watts yearly. Consequently, instruments are being shut down sequentially to conserve energy, leaving only four active instruments. The spacecraft's dwindling plutonium power supply is a critical concern. With predictions about the end of its functional life varying, some experts, like Linda Spilka, a longtime Voyager mission team member, suggest the mission could extend beyond 2030 if managed well. However, others anticipate the mission might conclude around 2025 due to the depleting power source. While it might appear that Voyager 1 and 2 are on a course toward their inevitable end in the near future, there remains a chance that they could endure for millennia, potentially drifting into a distant star system. Imagine the prospect of extraterrestrial civilization discovering one of these human-made marvels bearing the golden record, a testament to our presence and culture from an Earth that may no longer exist. This scenario embodies the hope that our interstellar messengers might one day tell our story to the cosmos.